So loop closest to us and then loop farthest from us. And so you're gonna do that to the other side as well. I'm just gonna show you just a little bit more so you guys can. If you guys got it, just you know pause the video or go forward. But I found this technique to be the best and I use it for <clears throat> For all of my crocheting um, work, I used to do single crochet, but um, it didn't look as clean as this method. So I switched it up. That's why I always say crocheting is a learning process. Um, mm -mm. Awesome. There's this. And one more. This, this, awesome. And then I'm just gonna do the end and you're done with this side. This is the other side. So I'm gonna zoom out really quick to show you. So when you flip it over, look how clean that looks. So this is the middle chain that you left. 
looks quite nice. So let's um, tie the yarn and then we're gonna start working on, I just kind of go back and forth a little bit just so it's like um, the yarn is good. It doesn't have to be like perfect or anything because this is the wrong side. All right, letting that go. And now I'm going to do my next piece on this side. So like again, I left a long, so this is gonna be my right side. And we'll start like that. It looks small right now, but then we'll do ribbing and from the in and out, and we're gonna add some sleeves. So it'll be nice. All right. So now again, I'm gonna just start like this. And then again, you have two loops. There's one closest to you and one second, and then close to you in a second. We're gonna leave the middle ones, uh, the middle ones, these two, free, and we're just gonna use the second loops. So we're gonna go in, this one's a little bit tight. Perfect. And then again, second loop to second loop. Second loop to second loop. Awesome. And then just keep going, guys. I'm going to pass forward or go quicker. attaching the other side right and so we can see the nice clean look we have on both sides and that's gonna be our two front pieces so let's keep going so then our next step is I'm gonna leave 15 to 20 rows on the on um, on the side for sleeves and so use a stitch marker I do recommend for this uh, for the size to use a stitch marker but because I did my rows, I kind of, I am able to tell where is the, so this is 15 rows, and then this was 15 rows. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to probably leave 20, or let's do 18, why not? So anything between 15 and 20 is a good number. It gives you plenty of room for arm length and everything else. So I'm going to put a stitch marker. So 15, This I know this is 15 and this is 15, so 15. And then 16, 17, 18, and then on my 19th row, I'll use a stitch marker. Perfect. And then the same thing on this side. I'm going to put a stitch marker. So I know this is 15. And also you can tell by, it's kind of hard, but see, like, this is row 1. This is row 2. This is row 3. You kind of have to spread it. 4, 5. So keep going. So 15 and then... 16, 17, 18. I said I'm gonna leave 18 rows. Perfect. This is our 19th row. And now we're just gonna uh, repeat what we were doing. Just gonna get um, we're gonna get some yarn and needle, and then just keep going. If you can use the same technique as right here, but because my stitches on the side don't look like that I have to um just kind of go for it and that's okay because um you still get that really nice finish so we're still working on our wrong side make sure you didn't flip it over this is still our wrong side and so let's start so this is our 19 chain sometimes you can see and then just leave 
tail and then you can kind of tell so here's my ending of this color yarn so we're just gonna go back and forth just kind of how we did um on the other side and let me zoom in a little bit so I'm a little bit coffee sorry guys I'm a little bit unprepared so it doesn't have to be perfect because you still won't be able to see those things so I'm just gonna go straight through it This is what it looks like. This is our good side. So pretty good, still nice slip. Um, so now let's go to this side and we're just gonna mark again. So we did 18 rows. So on the 19 we start with the fifth. So we know this is 15, and then 15, and then 16, 17, 18, this is 19, and then 15, 16, 17, 18, this is perfect. So this is where we're going to start, and then we're still on the wrong side, which is good, and then let's keep going. I'm just going to... Piece of yarn, perfect, and then let's just loop it through our needle. Awesome. So again, just line up your work. We're still working on the wrong side, and then just go for it. So back loop, back loop, back loop. show you how it looks on me so we're gonna flip it over and I'll show you really quick awesome so we just finished this this is the back side so I'm gonna flip it over I do have a big hoodie on me so I hope it's not awesome pretty good so we're gonna add ribbing so it's gonna you can add as much ribbing as you want I'm gonna add probably five rows and then do the ribbing on the inside this is what it looks so far and then we have the back. And then I'm going to obviously add. But look at the sides. It looks awesome. You know, this looks very good. So yeah, let's keep going. Um, let's start on the sleeve. And then, yeah, we're starting the sleeve. And let me sit down. So now we're going to flip our work to the right side. 
so the side that you're gonna wear your cardigan on so we're gonna kind of flip it like this this is our armhole I did 18 chains you can do whatever you desire <clears throat> I mean sorry I left 18 rows you can do whatever as many rows as you'd like and then I'm just gonna leave this in real quick awesome okay so this is our right side I'm just gonna throw all this up in there because I don't care about it okay so we're gonna start this is our sleeve we're gonna start right under the arm and so I'm using brown yarn for my sleeve so I'm just gonna make a slip knot and then just attach my yarn right under so for the arms I prefer doing anything between 50 chains around or 60. So if you land a number 52, perfect. 55, perfect, that works. 49, maybe not so much, it might be tight for, unless you have skinny arms, then that's fine. But I do have pretty big arms and shoulders, and so <clears throat> I like mine between 50 and 60. The biggest thing is you don't wanna lose that count. So this is where you can write it on your notebook or just kind of remember in your head. So we're gonna just start and randomly start putting stitches in you know, spaces that you see. So we're gonna chain, we always chain two and let's just start with double so there's like a first chain right here double single double single so that's four and then just keep counted so one two three four five six just random um random spaces seven Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. <clears throat> then we're just gonna keep going. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 29 so I'm kind of towards the middle and so I know I already did 29 chains so I know I'm going to be around 60 you know 59 um and so that's perfect that's what I wanted so 29 keep going um 45th stitch oh actually we're almost there so we might not but as long as it's 50 plus it's fine 45 46 47 48 49 I just got the cut side 50 awesome so 50 so we're past our number 51 52 53 54 and I'll put another one 55 do double crochet 55 you can even do one more right there all right so I'm on 55 so I have 55 chains yours could be whatever it is just make sure you remember the number, guys. That's very important. So 55. So now I'm just going to keep going in circles. So I'm going to attach to the uh, top of the double, uh, the two chains that I made, just a slip stitch. 
and then we always chain two, one, two, and then we just keep going in that same circle. So I did a double right here, so now I'm gonna do a single. You can also use different patterns, up to you, one, but just count those stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm just going to show you a few more. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, now let's turn our corner here, 16, One more. 51, 52, 53, 54, and 55. So there is a chain right there, but I already counted my 55. That's why I said counting is very important, guys. And so you're going to see that double thing right there. Or double, and then we're just going to attach that. Let's say you have 51 or the hole is too big. What I usually do is I'll, um, I'll decrease them. So let's say I got 55 chains, but then I have two loops left. So what I would do is I'll um, pull one up, pull another one up, and then I would attach them together. So that would be one loop. So I just made two into one, and so that will help you decrease. But let's say you have two little stitches. You say um, you had 49, but then next time it's... Uh, 47 so you need to increase so you can do one so just do two whatever double crochet or single crochet um into that one stitch and that will increase your stitches the reason that i'm saying make sure to know your count is because you don't want to lose the shape of the sleeve so mine is 55 so every round for 36 38 rounds i'll let you know how many i'm gonna do 30 uh, 55 chains so make sure whatever your chains are, you're keeping that the same count. And so um, I'll let you guys go, you know, do your Netflix or whatever. And um, I'll meet you when I'm done with my sleeve and I'll let you know how many rows I did. So I'm working on my 39 row and I just want to show you a little tip. Instead of changing your cardigan, you know, kind of flipping it over to work on something else. I mean, on the, the other part of the sleeve, there's a little tip that I use. So we're going to start working on the round. So it's singles, double, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And what I'm doing is I'm just going as far as I can and then instead of flipping my whole cardigan I'm gonna do this so, so it's getting pretty tight around the corner so what I do is instead of flipping the whole cardigan to kind of work on that side I um, leave a little bit of tip out and then I just twist the sleeve 
and then go right back in it, put my hook in it, and then finish the row. That will help you to get it kind of faster so you don't have to move so much of the whole cardigan. You just have the sleeve to work on. Oh, I hate when the yarn doesn't cooperate. <laughs> And then just keep going and then we're gonna start on our second sleeve in just a little bit so i just completed the 40 roll of one of my sleeves and i went to the bathroom and took the sweatshirt off because it is thick to see where it's at and it was just right by my wrist which is perfect because then that gives me room for um the ribbing um for the sleeve so that'll be good so let's i'm just gonna show you Kind of. And I still had 55 chains at the end, which is good. And then we'll do ribbing tomorrow, but right now we're going to start working on the other sleeve. Um, the sweatshirt is so big. Anyway, if you see, it's right where I want it to be. Yeah, and then this will all be ribbing. Um, yeah, and that won't take too long at all. But yeah, this is it. Um, and we're just going to start working on this sleeve i can it's very like breathable like even i'm wearing this thick large sweatshirt underneath i'm still able to stretch my arms and do all those things so that's why i'm saying like anything between 50 and 60 chains on a sleeve is perfect so let's start working on the other arm i'm just gonna start you again kind of show you uh what if i have extra stitch or what something what if something happens how to get also 55 on this side all right, let's start working on our next sleeve. So I did 40 rows on this one. So we're gonna do 40 rows on this one and 55 chains. So I'm just gonna start you again. So again, just kind of see where you finish up and we're just gonna stick our hook over there. And then just, oh, yarn, make a slip knot. And then just go through it chain two and then start working around and then let's see how many stitches we'll get on this one one two and then just one two just random places three Two, forty-three, forty-four. 
four. Awesome, almost there. All right, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. All right, we're at 49 and we're getting pretty close. So we have 49 chains so far. 50. So we need to put five more in between that. So 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, perfect, and 55. Awesome. Connect that to the top chain of number two, and then chain two, and then keep going. Um, remember that last stitch is not going to be a chain, so don't chain in there. Just count it until you get used to it. Um, what else? Also, I want to show you a little tip really quick. Let's say, all right, the little tip. So let's say you ran out of yarn, like on my sleeve, I ran out of yarn, and so I need to connect a different, um, the same color but different yarn. This is the best method that I found. So what you do is you lay um, two strands flat, like that. And then you're gonna take one strand and you're gonna make a knot around them. So just loop it around, you kind of have like a, like that, and then tie it. Perfect. Oops, just tie it as hard as you can. Then you're gonna take the other end and tie another knot on that side. Just go under it. Perfect. And then make a knot. So now we have two knots. And then all you gotta do is pull it, perfect. Cut off the edges. And there you go, you have, you have. And then just keep going with your crocheting and that's what I had to do with my, I mean, look how good that looks. And it's super strong. So it's a good method to know. All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow for ribbing and um, good job, you know, for keep going and you're almost there. You're going to be done with the sleeve and then we just have one more step, the ribbing, and you're done. So keep going. You're doing amazing.